Now. Now we're cooking with Crisco. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it's time at. What's up? We talking about 2023 game. And look, 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 look. It's been a lot of ups, it's been a lot of downs, but I got on my special note card here because if I would have I can't speak. Bro. I just woke up. I just woke up. And I'm not feeling well. You know what I'm saying? Hence the coat. Man, I'm just cut that. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna talk about the bad and the good, so let's just get into it. <coughs> I need a car drop. I mean, we got some Peters in this here, you know what I'm saying? Mortal Kombat X, fighting amazing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't played it, but I seen it, so I I'll vouch for it. Got Overwatch 2. That's a love-hate relationship for me. Not even a love-hate, that's like a like-hate. Mainly hate, but a, but a like-hate. We're gonna move on for that one. I, I already made a video on Overwatch 2. I'm not for the city. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got some crazy stuff, though. I mean, Super Mario Wonder, I couldn't leave it out. I don't think it won a single... It, it probably won, like, one thing of the Game Awards. Uh, since we're talking about the Game Awards, Baldur's Gate 3. Now, now tell me, does anybody who watches this play Baldur's Gate 3? Before it was in the Game Awards, I had never even heard of it. At least, like, bro, Game of the Year? You hear about Game of the Year, bro. Like, you gonna know about the potential Game of the Year before it's Game of the Year. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard, not even a lick of Baldur's Gate 3. When you when I heard that, I said, what the f is Baldur's Gate 3? Like, it, it sounded like a ritual. I don't know. But I looked at it, and me personally, I was like, bruh, I wouldn't play this. But I'm thinking like, it's not gonna get Game of the Year though. It got Game of the Year, so. I guess all, all you Baldur's Gate fans, y'all got what y'all wanted, bro. I got what y'all wanted. It's, it's over with. Spider-Man didn't get it. Spider-Man was great. You know what I'm saying? Super Mario Wonder was great. Tears of the Kingdom was fire. They just didn't get it. You know, I mean, they, they dropped Lethal Company, though. I, I need more talk about that. I'm sure they didn't get in the Game Awards or nothing because they dropped so late. But Lethal Company, bro, I mean, they did their thing. Like, they, they stuck their whole fist in it and, like, mashed it, rubbed it, smoothed it, curved it, caressed it, and then it ended up like the SpongeBob statue. It was amazing, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> oh, my gosh. Is amazing. I guess that's the last best thing that came out on Lethal Company, and the year's gonna be over. So I feel like a lot of it. Okay, them baby says yeah, I bet. I feel like 2023 was a lot of like cold moments. I mean, but some heaters did drop. So I mean, how can I be mad? But let's talk about something that's been going on for a minute, man. Let's let's talk about effort and boredom. Let's let's focus on these two things. Why is it every game I pick up, I gotta I gotta be the most skilled, the most like? Have you ever played games just to have fun? I mean, I'm a competitive person, but every once in a while, I like picking something up that's just fun like i play overcooked with you you know what i'm saying like that's not you can't really be too skilled at overcooked everything is so competitive nowadays i just be trying to chill sometimes so that's why i play single player joints you got a love with the competitive matchmaking so no matter what you do you're gonna be a 50 win rate 50 percent loss rate of uh, yo uh, kd gonna be i guess 1.0 is that the average like mid it's just it's just boring you know what i'm saying i, I quit playing halo a long time ago like when they first dropped <sighs> Like a few weeks, a month after, I was done with that. Like Call of Duty is a good example, bro. They gave us, I already said in my last one. Yeah, if you want to know, watch the last one. But they they didn't try. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. I, I feel like this is one of the few years ever where I've gotten on the game and I'm like, bro, I don't know what to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get on and I'm just like, bro, I I don't know what to play because everything is like. Uh, it's kind of stale. You know what I'm saying, Call I'm, I'm, I said I wouldn't bring up Call of Duty, but basically, I was looking through the list of the 2023 games, and I saw a good amount of things that I like. Not everything I wanted to see, bro. I feel like gaming this year was pretty lackluster. Like that's what I was talking about the effort earlier, not just effort and like skill and how you have to be good at the game for it to be cool. Because if you lose and lose it, it's not fun. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for any game nowadays. Everything's so competitive. But I just mean the effort of. The people who make these. I mean, I've never felt so like bored of gaming. Like, I don't be bored in general. When I, when I want to play a game, I'm like, dang, bro. Like, what am I gonna play? GTA 5? Like, that's maxed out. GTA 6 already coming. So in my mind, I'm like, bro, GTA 5? No, bro. I put that down. Six is finna drop in 2025. So I mean, 2026. Five, six, five. I English is hard. But yeah, man. I just, I just want gaming to be back where it was, man. Back where you was like. You could get on and you would have two, three different options. You'd be like, ooh, am I playing Rainbow Six Siege? Am I playing GTA? Or am I playing Call of Duty? You know what I'm saying? And you had those lined up and then you, you and your niggas was like, hey, let's get on. And you had, you had to think about it. Let's get on 2K. 
You have to think about it. Like there was options. I get on now and I'm playing the same thing. But tell me what y'all think of it, man. Yeah, I mean, let me know, bro. Also, if you want to know where to find this jacket, it's uh, none of your damn business. I'm gatekeeping. <laughs> I'm gatekeeping.